in happy new year's day i am so excited to be here at epcot i am starting my day out at epcot and then i'm hoping to park hop a little bit because today new year's day 2020 park hopping is back and i am here to show you how to do it i'm hoping to make this simple hoping to make it easy i'm hoping to show you how to get from this and then to this park the first thing that you're going to need is going to be a valid theme park admission i'm an annual pass holder which means i have the availability to park hop if you're not an annual pass holder you are going to need a park hopping pass you're going to need a park reservation next so you're going to have to reserve your day at epcot and then you have to scan in that park first so my park reservation today was at epcot therefore i have to scan my magic band or my annual pass card at epcot before i can park hop at 2 p.m and because the hour that we can start park hopping is at two o'clock and it is only 12 12 we have some time to do some things so let's have some fun feels kind of appropriate the first place i'm going to head into is going to be the epcot experience on behalf of all zendarians may i say that we are extremely pleased and excited to be coming this is a beautiful moment when Rocket unplugs you and starts things Epcot, where the magic of possibility awaits. And because it's New Year, let's show off some of the New Year's merchandise. This is the 2021 mug. And then they also have, I have no idea what this is. Oh, a little photo album. It's kind of cute. Little 2021 bag. I think that this is my favorite, the 2021 Mickey. This would look really cute displayed in like an accent chair. It's a stellar, psychedelic 2021 bucket hat. Who doesn't love that? And then there's also a trucker hat up here. Okay, the long sleeve shirt. <gasps> I live, I love. 2021, anything on the back? Of course not. That's kind of cute. I like how simple that is, but still retro. Now hear me out. Love New Year, absolutely love New Year. But I also mourn the loss of Christmas. They literally took down the Christmas tree in the middle of the night. But everything is looking very, very crowded right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to head on to the Skyliner to then get lunch at the Riviera Resort. And then we will make our way to Hollywood Studios. Let's see how easy this is. We still have about 50 minutes until we are able to scan our magic band into our second park. Who's ready to ride? I know I am. I gotta get out my relief band though. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway, Korean Beach Resort. This could open up any day. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? And welcome to the Riviera Resort. I just mobile ordered at Primo Piatto, so my food should be ready soon. I'm going with the safer option today because I'm trying to go all day today. I went with chicken tenders. I know, I know. But I'm going to stop here for a quick eat before we head to Hollywood Studios. We have finished eating at the Riviera Resort. I'm hopeful that we're just gonna have to scan our pass and then we'll be let in, so very excited. On the second Skyliner, headed to the, kind of like the hub area at Caribbean Beach Resort. And now we're making our transfer to the Hollywood Studio Skyliner. All right, y'all, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Let's see if park hopping works. It worked. It worked. It worked. My God, park hopping is back. It's back. Wow, came in right to a cavalcade.
also didn't tell you guys, I met up with Sarah Grace. Hi. I'll put her Insta handle right here. Follow her on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the things. We just rode Tower of Terror. We're so good, oh my gosh. It was legit one of the best runs I have ever been on. Yeah, easily, easily. So like 2021, we're good, we're spooked. <laughs> and we're ready for the year, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a high, no doubt. Definitely a high. Highly recommend. I have now exited Hollywood Studios and I am back on the way to the Skyliner. I'm going to head back to Epcot and then head home because I still have a two hour ride home. So I am thinking that I'm still going to be able to get into Epcot okay. I saw that no parks that you had to switch to with the reservation, none of them hit capacity. So park hopping should be fairly easy. I don't think any of the parks really will hit capacity because they are keeping tabs on who leaves and who stays. So super don't think that that will be an issue. And we're on the Skyliner back to Epcot, just like that. Hey, how are you? There we go. Did you guys see how long it took for my annual pass to figure out whether I was able to come into the park or not? Ooh, that made me so nervous, but we got in. So, scanned my magic band to Epcot this morning, which is where I have my park reservation. And then after 2 p.m., I was able to get into Hollywood Studios. And now I am back in the park that I had my reservation. So you are able to get back into the park you had your reservation in you are able to re-enter a park on park hopping days. That is great news. And I'm happy that we were able to try this out today. So I am going to end the vlog here and just enjoy some alone time at Epcot. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and let me know how park hopping goes for you. And if you wanna catch some more of me between these cute little videos, you can follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok. And yeah, and I hope that you have a magical rest of your night or day whenever you're watching this. I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.